All right, everybody, it's uh, 8.30 in the morning, and I'm heading out to Ashtabula to pick up a fish in a bucket. Uh, evidently, this gentleman tried moving, and when he got to his new place, they said, no tank. And he had a couple fish, so he still got one left. And he actually has donated <clears throat> to OFR before. The Red Devil, the White Red Devil in the community tank with the red lips, lips, uh, that was his fish. So I'm going to get another Red Devil, supposedly. So I'm going to get out there, pick it up, and get it back to OFR. All right, stay tuned, everybody. Okay, I made it to the building. I just gave Brad a call because I've been calling him since I left and nobody answered. I thought maybe he wasn't going to show, but I finally got a hold of him. Should be coming down here in a minute, and I can go up, grab the fish, and get my butt back to OFR. Unplug that heater, Ray, and then throw it in the sink. Just unplug it first. Oh, yeah, and then uh, take the bucket with him there. Um, I'd let you take the air stone, but you can't take my pump. You can't even plug it into the I have a... Uh, Put your hand in there and move him around and see if he's... Uh, oh, yeah. He's doing much better than you Yeah. Yeah. I have a uh, portable air stone in the car. Isn't he a beautiful fish? Pick him up and see how big yeah. he is. Well, oh, that's he's, okay. <laughs> he's, he's every bit the same size mouth and everything as the one my uncle gave me. Kid. Yeah, it cur or I mean... Uh, I mean, I hate to get rid of him, I really do, but I know if I ever need a red devil, like if I ever get into a place where I can have him, I'll go down there and get, get him off of you guys. Right, exactly. You know, so... All right, He's got well. my other one down there. He's got lips down there. That's my other one. Yep. Okay, yeah. uh... All right, made it to OFR. He's still doing okay, but this water is nasty. I thought he said he changed it, but I don't think he did. All right, we gotta get him in and get him acclimated. All right, Jerry's wanting to put him in here, but we still got a Cory. And what, are the, what is this again? Alvacicus. Yeah, and there's a couple little guppies, so we'll try and get yeah. it. Try and get what we can out of here. And then we're gonna get the uh, Red Devil acclimated, he's gonna put him in here. Stay tuned. Jerry got him acclimated, we got him put in, and there he is. Uh, he's a pretty good size uh, Red Devil. And again, same dude that gave us, he, this came from the same one that's in here. Where's that Red Devil with the uh, red lips? Lips? Oh, there's no Red Devil in here. Not anymore, it hasn't been for a long time. He's the one that's got the lipstick on. Oh, he got re a long time ago. Oh, really? Never went in this time. No, you put no Red Devil in this time. No, oh, I thought he was in here. No. Okay. We had enough trouble with some of these characters in this time. No, anyways, he's here. So back at OFR and Jim Seasley, he brought this. I pulled in and he was pulling in the same time. out here in the light. Yes. Get it, get it where you get some sunlight on him. Pretty little thing. Uh, Jim rescued him and figured he'd bring him down. And I hit sliming, so I brought corned beef for everybody today. <laughs> so I already called Rich, he knows it. So we're going to have some corned beef sandwiches here. All right. Yeah. Shortly? What's that? Shortly? Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go float this boy and come out and, uh, yeah. Oh, look at that paddlefish right there. You can see them crystal clear. Water is really clear, but wow, like Rich said, there sure is a hell of a lot of algae in here. And the koi aren't going to eat that because it's up here, so that's definitely going to have to be scraped out. But I have seen them, uh, like he said, eat all that stuff. It's amazing. Because I swear to God, I thought he was a liar, and I came back a month and a half later, and it was gone. All right, so Jerry's going to go float that fish, and uh, we'll see what else. Well, I just watched Josh. Most everything was gone. I took all the little stuff. So there's one of the bigger paddles right there. Uh, who knows? Uh, I don't have a lot of time here, but we'll see what we can get done. Maybe we can work on that gazebo over there. Stay tuned. Yeah, it just looks so colorful. We're in the fish room trying to find a container. I'm going to stick in my car to pick up this. I'm going to go up to Michigan tomorrow 
there's a pet store up there and they got a, a 12 to 14 inch salt water puffer uh, I'm not sure exactly what kind it is but we're gonna pick it up Jerry says there's a container outside so we're working our way over in the meantime this is that fish that uh, Jim Sheasley went and rescued he's getting acclimated right now So Jim's taking a couple of them home. Oh yeah, some of the quarries. Got, got a bunch of them. We're trying to find them, but Jerry found the lid for this one. Look at that locking thing. Two holes in it. Perfect. I got uh, Big Rich gave me two of the bigger. Um, portable air pumps. I just need some D batteries for that. So I'll take this. And I just gotta get some styrofoam probably from on in there. And I'll make this, I'll put this in the back of the car. Make sure this works and then that'll be good for tomorrow's trip. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> awesome. All right, we got this nice big one in here. That'll be plenty. It's only 12 to 14 inches. And it's like three and a half hours, uh, Lansing, Michigan. This will fit right on and clamps down, so two air holes, so that'll work. We'll make that work. All right, so we're going to do this for tomorrow. Stay tuned. All right, I'm going to be taking off, but this is the fish I rescued in the bucket, the uh, Red Devil, that we got from Brad the other day. So he seems to be doing okay. Just wanted to check on him. Alright, so I'm going to get out of here and I'm just going to grab that white bucket by the door. I think I showed it, but I brought slime in for the guys uh, that we just got back from the store. Jerry went, got some Swiss cheese so I can do that. And I'm going to get my butt home and then uh, we'll get a video made for tomorrow. Alright, stay tuned everybody. Oh, totally forgot to video this. Uh, <laughs> but... I got John with me, and we just stopped to get some gas. We're headed to Lansing, Michigan, to pick up that saltwater uh, puffer. I'm not sure exactly what kind, but uh, we're almost there. Uh, we got about uh, 50 minutes to go, a little under an hour. So stay tuned, and we'll, we'll catch you in the flip side. John and I, we just got here, but we're going to go out and go inside and check it out because... Uh, place is huge it goes all the way almost to the end of the block dude it's like half the block look at a nice water skate they got coming on the outside so we're gonna go to the salt water department i think i talked to hunter earlier warren yesterday but we'll figure out what's going on i've seen some back stuff in the back but we'll get this figured out oh look at this <laughs> this is crazy, huh? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a big place. Holy cow, look at this. Look at the size of these guys. They are fat. Hmm, this is a nice store. We're in Lansing, Michigan. Wow, look at some of these. <laughs> yeah. Cichlid tank. 
Well, I'm gonna look around a little bit. John's already off somewhere else. Something like that. Here's a Fahaka puffer in here. Ravioli and basil. Tanks. Yeah, so I gotta get some more sword tails in my tank. I only got the one guy. A couple more would be nice. go up by the front desk over there and uh, find out who we're supposed to talk to and get this uh, rescue underway. Oh, they even got some rays, dude. I know, I see. What kind is that? Somebody will figure out what's going on here. We can get, do you guys have a container? We have a container in the car. How close is like the, this is the front door? Is yep. there a back door that's closer? There is or? a back door, but it's not closer. This is probably because you have to go from ramp. Okay. Um, this way. So he's pretty good size. Yes. And what kind is he? Uh, he's a Stars and Stripes puffer fish. Stars, stars and Stripes? Yep. Ugh. Look at the teeth on him, yeah. dude. <laughs> is it? Huh. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Alright, they're gonna get a couple buckets and then we'll figure out how we're gonna get them out of there in a container so he doesn't come out of the water and breathe in and blow up. And uh She's going to get all that supplies for us now. Look at all the coral they have, even. In fact, it goes all the way around. There's birds in here. It's just fantastic. And I'll get the proper name of this place as well in Lansing. I didn't. It's a weird name. P R E U S S or. U-E-S-S, one of the two. Look at these tanks. These are all salt water down this way. So we'll just take water, siphon it out of there until we have enough. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> What's up, little guy? Things up. <laughs> 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 
Alright, well, I'm gonna get you on. We'll get this all figured out. Man, there's just so much here I wanna look at. I'm sorry, introduce yourself again? Uh, Rick Pruce from Pruce Pets. Okay, he's the owner, and this is just the room down here that they... Yeah, we call it our classroom. So, <laughs> multi-purpose room, but a lot of birthday parties, but also a lot of classes. We we teach, uh, like, aquascaping for aquariums, fish keeping, saltwater, you know, I want to get into the saltwater hobby, how do I do it? Right. Um, we've had some, you know, a fellow give a presentation on his trip to the Amazon, types of things that you would expect and hmm. and then we have classes from Michigan State University that come in here really um, and we may give a presentation on what we do how we do it uh, there's actually a professor of zoology that actually teaches her class here for one day where she actually because she has all the marine animals at her disposal and she has her whole syllabus figured out and so she brings the kids in to see all these animals after she gives them a presentation in here well, how so, long you been here then well this store has been, you know, I was 20, 22 when we opened. So really? 1982. Well, so I've been around. we did move into Old Town, which is this facility that allows us to have the classroom. We we moved in here in 2006. It's been okay. a lifelong dream uh, to be in a facility like this. Right. But, you know, talking about a lifelong, my mother is the one that's responsible for everything because Back in 1965, 66, she opened the first fish door. There was seven of us kids, plus a few fosters from time to time. And she was the one that kind of helped keep us busy in the business. <laughs> and also kind of was very, very instrumental in connecting with people as far as their pets, the purpose of their pets, the problems with their pets. She was always there for them. And then yeah. in her, in her footsteps, myself, as well as lots of staff. We carry, we have 70 staff members here now. My mother's no longer here. You know, so you said her. you had uh, seven brothers and sisters. Any yeah. of them still in the business? Yeah, yep. uh, my, none of them are in this immediate business. Uh, I have a nephew that does a related business, a pond and a water garden. But okay. My brother was really, really, really instrumental in building out this facility. He's much more the hands-on guy. Right. I'm more of the people-friendly guy, so <laughs> not that he isn't, but, right. but uh, he built all the ponds and waterfalls that you see outside. Oh, yeah, okay, so I was wondering who waterfall. did that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Steve okay. Oberg, he's my, he's my manager. How are you um, doing, sir? Everything wet has yeah. to do with Steve, so he manages okay. everything there. And then we've got my daughter, who is uh, also a, a general manager, and my wife, who is... So in the greater, like the seven kids, right. I'm, I'm the one that's still doing this, but in the family afterwards, my, my wife and my daughter are still here working. Right. So awesome. And been that way since I was... And so how did you hear about us? Well, you know, I've, I've, I've been down to tour your facility. Oh, back yeah, the, been down there. Okay. There is a... Um, um, there was a um, event, the... The Ohio Cichlid Extravaganza. That's right, the there. OCA Extravaganza. OCA, yeah, I went down that there November, a right. years ago before COVID, and I went over and checked the facility out before that swimming pool became actually official. The Predator, uh, the predator Pond. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought, okay, yeah. you should so come back. Well, <laughs> you know, and certainly everybody knows about, uh, you right. know, from the internet, you, it's impossible not to know about the Ohio Fish Rescue. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I'm glad to have you here. Uh, right, glad yeah. you've got a place for meatball. Meatball came in, he's a, a special story where the customer needed, I can't remember, but maybe the tank needed to be taken down. I can't remember what the reason was, but the uh, maybe it just outgrew the tank. So the understanding was, right. let's bring it in here, let's see if we can get it home, let's give it a couple, three months. 
now it needs to go to a bigger home. So between the customer that owned it and Steve, my manager right there, they, they decided that this would be maybe the next best step to yeah, I believe Rich's already has a uh, four to eight thousand reef saltwater place where it's going to. And I guess okay. the guy used to be in the business and had a store or two as sure. well, I believe. Sure. So I sure. think he's already been rehomed. <laughs> yeah, now Meatball's quite a uh, cherished character while it's been here. I think it's actually been three, maybe four months. But um, everybody comes in to see him. He'll right. be missed, but he needs to go to a bigger home. So right. we were hoping to find that prior to this, and now we actually, I guess, have, but with the assistance <laughs> of, right. you know, Ohio Rescue. So. Excellent. All right, well, let's get some buckets, and we'll get the water transferred yeah, into ours, and we'll get this taken care of. Yep. Thank you. This is awesome. Sure. <laughs> Let me get Steve involved, and we can go from there. All righty. All right, John's adding water to the tub we brought. It'll take all three, Rhea, for sure. And then the one big one with him, you think that'll be good then? Okay. Alright, we're gonna work on getting the new ball out now. A good job. Right, okay, now they're going to help them because. Let's get that cart close. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Good job. Step down the ladders and then just set them on the cart. This is going to come off. Uh, lift, lift from the, the chair. Yeah. Um, can you get it? Well, it would help if we had a third person we could stand in. John, you want to give him a hand? Hold on. Yeah. My partner can help. Yeah, yeah hold on. Like you can get like in between them and give him a hand. It's like heavy. I'm going to hold this. Yeah. Are you got that? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting a little wet. That's okay. Yep, a little water. Don't hurt. There you go. And then if somebody could just go out with him and bring him back in the cart and the, yep. the empty, that'd be super cool. All right, we'll get him out and load it, and then we'll be set. John and I are going to get him loaded. Stay tuned, because I can't film and do that at the same time. All right, John's getting them put in. Can I let her get it? Yeah, let her get it off then. Oh, did you get it? There you go. All right. All right, just gonna tip him over and out he comes. There he goes. All right, we got meatball in there. Now we're just gonna go and cross the street and get the air put on him. Good. Okay. All right, thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Oh, thank God John's driving and navigating because uh, zero gas. Man, we just, we turned in as it was zero. And then we couldn't find a pump. So luckily we got one. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, me and John, we just got the puffer out of the back seat. Now we'll get them back in the uh, back room where Jerry's going to get him acclimated. Yeah, He's a beauty. He's a stars and stripe uh, puffer. Yeah. yeah, wait till you see him. Oh, his teeth, they're neat. Yeah. They're big, like yeah. Big chisels. Oh, yeah. His name's Meatball. Yeah, his name's Meatball. Meatball? Mm-hmm. That's figures. <laughs> Up on me, he should fit through that hole. Yeah. <laughs> well, he does. He see does. all them spines on him? Uh-huh. Well, looks like lines, doesn't it? If he puffs up, man, that spikes. But yeah, he is cool. And again, his name is Meatball. So. Now, we're going to have to see what we're going to do here. All right.
guy, so Jerry's going to take care of him. We'll be by in a day or so and check on him. Alright everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. And Brad, no, he didn't. He just, just did, did just find the water in the bucket. That was just the fish, you know, coming back because uh, I checked the water when I was there. So that was just fine. And it was a shame he couldn't uh, keep the fish. And that was part of the problem. That fish was living in the bucket since the 31st when he moved in. Tried to get a, a hold of us and get it down there sooner, but he couldn't. Uh, he has heart issues and uh, actually was in an accident in the last car or two. Uh, he passes out when he was driving, so he can't really drive anymore. That's why we had to get out there as quick as we could to get it. So I did get it out there within you know a little over 24 hours and pick it up. He did lose one fish, but he's doing just fine as you saw in the video. And the other you know rescue just went just as well. I mean, it was awesome. That store is utterly amazing. You heard Rick talking about his place and what they do there, and I wish we would have had more time. Because uh, while I was doing that and downstairs, as John was running around, he said they had one heck of a reptile section. Of course, John's in the reptiles. The birds, you heard them. You saw those big koi and that thing. So they had some really nice things going on. I just didn't have the time to, you know, stick around and, and see it all. Whoa, look at how dark her tail is. But it went really well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. And we'll go deeper with the Reaper.